Hello, welcome to this service of morning prayer for Thursday the 18th of September 2020. To follow this service, uh, you'll need to have a Bible of your own so that you can read the Bible readings and you'll need the video remote if you're watching on video so that you can pause the video while you do that. Because what we want to do is to enable God to speak to us individually through his word and we need the leisure for that. This service follows the common worship outline for daily prayer, but we use songs instead of some of the canticles. Let's ask God into our hearts and onto our lips at the outset of our time together. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The standard opening canticle on a Friday is Vanity, uh, that's to say, Come, let us sing out to the Lord. Uh, so here's a song about coming into the presence of God and singing and rejoicing in him. I get so excited, it's a brand new day. A blank slate is waiting for what God will say. I bounce out of bed so I can start to pray. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms set for today are Psalms 17 and 19, so here's a sung version of Psalm 17 to enable us to enter into God's presence. Yeah. 
and you will see true thoughts marred by lying. Though you probe my heart and mind, you who are all seeing, yet your testing will not find sin within my being. Vindication comes from you. This is why I'm calling. I have kept my footsteps true and avoided falling. Ways of violence have not been part of my behaviour. In your sight I have kept clean, hence you are my saviour. Show the wonders, Lord Most High, of your loving essence. As the apple of an eye, keep me in your presence. In the shadow of your wings, hide me from assailants. Those who put their trust in things and malign surveillance. Those who close their hearts in hate, speaking words of violence, they have tracked me down and wait for their chance to silence all my hopes and dreams in life. In an act of terror, rise, O oh Lord, confound their strife, save me, Lord, forever. Those who seek this world alone for their hope and glory cannot know what they might own if they grasp your story. But for me I'll see your face, find your wealth and plenty, live forever in your grace, full and never empty. And you might like to pause the video and read the two psalms and reflect on them. Today's Old Testament reading is in 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 1 and then verses 11 to 28. But if you've got time, it might be a good idea to skim read the rest of chapter 6 as well, and also uh, chapter 7, uh, because they're not covered in the scheme of Bible readings according to the Church of England. And skimming through them gives a better perspective over Solomon's life than simply the extracts that have been chosen. Please pause the video and read those things uh, in your Bible. If you want, you can use a canticle from Hosea chapter 6 as a way of responding to the Old Testament reading. The New Testament reading is in Acts chapter 15. Uh, it's the next part uh, of the story which gives the letter that was sent to the Gentile believers. And in the Bible it's verses 22 to 35. Please pause the video and read that for yourself. And here's a canticle of response to the New Testament reading. Final 
old prophet clears his way and leads his people forth to go into salvation, right as day, where God's compassion they will know. The morning sun will rise on all, and from our darkness bring release, and shine on the and guide our feet into his peace. And so let's turn to prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come into your presence any time we want. We ask that you would set our hearts on fire, and when the sun rises, uh, you would enable our spirits to rise too, and give you the praise which you so worthily deserve. If we are in difficulties, help us to express our righteous pleas to you, Heavenly Father, in order that you may hear us. And if we are in joy, help us to reflect on the fact that the creation shows your beauty. And so help us continually to abide in your presence, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for buildings and places of worship which direct our hearts towards you. We pray that you would help us uh, to appreciate them, but not to be diverted by them from you, the living God. Help us to give ourselves to your work in the way in which uh, is honourable to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, we acknowledge the effort of the Jewish Christians to acknowledge the Gentile brothers and sisters and to try and bring the church into a unity over the issue which threatened to divide. Help us to be people who work for unity as well. Help us to adapt to changing circumstances, as indeed the letter uh, proved not versatile enough for succeeding generations. And help us to be concerned for the welfare of those who follow you, but whom we do not see often. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and put into words your thoughts and prayers about your own situations. The Collect for this week. Almighty God, your only Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence. Give us pure hearts and steadfast wills to worship you in spirit and in truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may God fill us with a firm sense of his purposes in our life today. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.